Bag fuel, baby. Yeah. It's iconic, but we're not trying to date anybody. It's just having fun and making it oh, relatable. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, like I said, me, the way I always approach it, and, you know, and, and S is knowing me, I'm probably like one of the most forward, worst type of niggas you ever met, but in a good way. We're recording now, too. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm, like, it's two things with me. Either you like me or love me. You know mm. what I'm saying? So, S is knowing me in a way where some people say sometimes I might be too aggressive. Or gotcha. some, you know what I'm saying? Or, yeah. or can't understand me. But at the same time, whenever you come see me, though, I always give everybody a chance. You know what I'm saying? I'm mm -hmm. one of the few executives, you know, you you run into the executive dudes that, you know, quote unquote, they call it industry niggas. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And my, am I an industry dude? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You earned that. Yeah, yeah. You I, fought I, for I, that. I, like, when people say that, I'm like, yeah, I'm, because, because I would contradict myself <laughs> if somebody goes, yo, this a and &R, he's an industry dude, he did this, this, and that, but I'm in the same business, I'm in the same league because I sit with this man and do business with this man. Mm -hmm. Now, do I have his same values and how he does shit? No. But am I in the same game? Absolutely, yes. Can we handle things in the best way or better way? Yes, and sometimes you can't, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it comes when, when you get that position of power, a lot of people think it's power, but it's not power. It's not. What is it? It's it's not power. It's it's actually it's a job. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's a job that okay, everybody looks at that word A and R. You know what I'm saying? Artists and repertoire. Artists and repertoire. And it's crazy. When I first got in the game, when I was doing what I was doing, I didn't even know what that meant. I nobody did. I don't but think. that was the thing to be yeah. though. Nobody you, did. That yeah. was just the position. But nobody S, knew. Yeah. Nobody knew what that meant, but we knew that this was uh, this was this position and this was what it required. Yeah, and this is what you do. You do every freaking thing. But what's beautiful, what's insane about that, not insane in a bad way, how y'all were immersed in that and looked mm -hmm. at it as a job, that was looked at as how being a popular podcaster is. Yeah. Everybody wanted to be the A and R. Uh, that was a prestigious thing to say. Yeah. You could bag chicks with that. I'm an A and R uh. at Def Jam. <laughs> y'all looking at it like this is bullshit. Yeah, nah, not 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 bullshit, but, but you know, I mean, it was it was a big deal for for me. I hmm. never had one until Corey hmm. Rooney gave me a job. God, oh man, what up, Corey Rooney? Wow, yeah, it was yeah. a big it was a big deal. I was, flew me down to Miami. I'm mm -hmm. flying back and forth from Miami to New York and doing this and doing that. I felt it was different because I had a chance to learn how to create records from scratch, the totality yeah. of it. Because even when you have have a producer. You don't sometimes get the totality because sometimes the producer just gives it to Gene and they take it off mm -hmm. and they go create and they give them credit and they get paid and everything. That's technically not a producer. That's a beat writer. Yeah. Cool. And I try to explain that to people. This is bag fuel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we started organic, but they call me the Heineken bag oh, yeah. fuel. <laughs> Come on. Yes, uh, so everyone sees sounds official. And we got a very, very special guest, and, I, and I'm going to say his name. We got Gene Nelson, le legendary manager, A&R executive. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To many, many people, Nicki Minaj, just to name one of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, and thank you, you know, thank you once again. Of Les course. Heineken for having me. Much appreciated. And, and like I said, you know, I'm, st I'm, I'm still here, always going to be here. Yeah. One of the few, you know what I'm saying? I Like, I, I see this game from... Every angle, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, I'm still a manager. Mm. I'm still a record executive. Let's go. You know okay. what I'm saying? I, 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 I still, I, I, I'm still, you know, entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. I'm still one of the greatest A and R and one of the toughest. Uh -huh. Still, you know what I'm saying? He talking. You know what I'm saying? Tough. He's, he's tough. tough. He's, a tough. He's, he's, a, he's a tough guy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and, and, hey, and, he's and, tough. And 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 one thing I want to say is this game. I love it. it, it comes, I was going to ask it, you about it, it, that. I, 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 the only reason why I do is because I love it. When I got into it, it's because I didn't get into it. Because I seen this at an early, early yeah. age. I'm from Brentwood, Long Island. I come mm -hmm. from a town where my music, that's all we did was break dancing and music. You know what I'm saying? My start was with, with you know what I'm saying, with EPMD. EPMD. You know what I'm saying? My best friend, you know, was just, was just Caleb Boss at that time, then turned to DJ 4-5, and we're still together. Went on after the whole EPMD breakup. Me, Craig Mack, Keith Murray, we all, people understand, we're all from the same town. We all grew up together. Yeah. Mm. We're all childhood friends. You know what I'm saying? And from there, so we always seen the music business. It was weird because we're so far out. Like, we're from Suffolk County. Suffolk County. Like, we Six, got three, East, 
This yeah. is crazy. I know this man all these years, and I never knew that. I thought he was from Brooklyn my yeah. whole life. Yeah, and 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 the, and the reason why everybody thinks I'm from Brooklyn is because of my relationship with number one with Big and C's and Kim, and then my second tier life into my man eighty into Mano and everybody. So automatically, everybody thinks that yo. Oh, he from, from Brooklyn. Brooklyn. <laughs> and just my to me, because usually Long Island, yeah. to Long Island, to the rest of the world, everybody think he from Long Island, you a fucking duck, you a bird, you're corny. You See, know what I'm saying? <laughs> until you start going to certain parts like Hempstead, Wine yeah. Dance, like you get laid yeah. out. Yeah. A lot of dudes thought they can move packs over there. But and got laid out. Yeah, but that's why. That's and why I'm why a Brooklyn I, nigga saying this. Exactly. <laughs> And that's why people like Rakim at first, you know, say it's not where you're from, it's where you really at. Because right. a lot of people don't realize Rakim's from Long Island. Yeah. You hey. know what I'm saying? It's a Long Island nigga. Like, yeah. a lot of great shit has come from there. From, Absolutely. From, from, from Eric Paris to Craig. Isn't the Daylight Chief, from Day, there? Daylight Soul, mm -hmm. Public Enemy. Yeah, I, I could keep going. Ashanti. I mean, we could keep going. I, even even comedians. Eddie Murphy. Perfect. We could keep going. Keep going. Right, Carrie. You, know, you, you know what I'm saying? 516 but 631. Still, but you know what's so crazy thing yeah. is? We so far out there, like you understand, like me growing up, I I I I didn't start going into the city till I got into music business. That and that was that, 19, sounds, that was nineteen ninety three, ninety four. I'm still wow, in high school. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like wow, we, okay. I, I I wasn't because to us, we hung out out east. We hung out in the mm. what people call them call the Hamptons. We out in Riverhead and stuff like that, Southampton. Gotcha. So I didn't know. Like put it this to us, people understand Long Island. It's weird because even dudes from Nassau. To us is not considered Long Island dudes because we so from really? East. Yeah, if you from Nassau, like, I like never, wow. we consider them almost Queens niggas. Word, yeah, yeah like, they so never close felt to that. Us. Yeah. <laughs> Nassau, they close. They really close. They we do. We, 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 do, we, do a lot, we do a lot of business. Like, like yeah. We, like, because you can cross the street and be. Yeah. yeah like, like the Elmont. 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 And you right there. Yeah, Rose yeah, there. Rose yeah, there. Yeah, so yeah. you understand. We from out east. Like, like you know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I'm, I'm 45 minutes away from, 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 from Hempstead. So, that's thuggish. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you got to think about like for Damn. us. Like, like, like you remember, once, once you cross that 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 borderline of Farmingdale, mm -hmm. you know, Master Peak. When you go past that, to us, that's Queens niggas. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna ask you what makes you want to stay in this game. It's it's such a dirty game, but you already jumped and answered that. You yeah. love this game. I loved I, it. You know but, what I'm saying. So now my angle is: Has there been a point where you like, I might want to leave this for a moment? Nah, you know I can't leave it for a moment. Not even a, a, a dark moment where it was like, I still I'm having dark moments right now. <laughs> wow, like you know what I'm saying? What do you call mm -hmm. it? But you know what I'm saying? That but those moments are the ones that make you greater. You know what I'm saying? Like my team, like I always, I always say, we're not good, we're great. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? How, and, do you, how do you deal with tidal waves? Tidal waves. Because you you've, you've encountered and so is Esso. Yeah. He's yeah. showing me how to navigate tornadoes. Let's you, talk about you it. You know how I learned how to navigate tor tornadoes? I learned two angles. I always say it's a gift and a curse. I grew up in a town, mostly a white town. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't grow up urban at all. I'm from okay. a middle class family. You know what I'm saying? I die. You know, I'm not one of them dudes who talk. I'm from the hood. Never from it. No. Gotcha. Had pool, backyard, dog. Yeah. You know, white. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We we didn't have that. So. What I was blessed to have is getting to the music game and seeing thing is meeting my other brothers who come from a whole different culture, street, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And a lot of street dudes showed me values and principles that I didn't that I can't learn mm. because I didn't, didn't, I, didn't, grow I, like I, I didn't grow up like that. You mm. know what I'm saying? Mm. So I learned that when I got in the game. And also it just built in you. You know what I'm saying? So I was getting a little, you know, God bless the dead, my good friend Alvin Tony. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like they come from a part of Long Island that it was a little more Urban, it was from wine dance, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And so I started learning that early. And then when I got in the game and I got around all my Brooklyn homies, you know what I'm saying? Mm. D-Rock, C, Gutter, Money, L, and everybody. Mm. And then, you know, one of my best friends, my brother, when I got with 80, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He taught me so much structure, you know, how to move right, you know what I'm saying? Because at the same time, when I got in the game, being an a and r and getting in the a &R with success. Remember, I came in the game with success. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I came in with Craig Mack and Big. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And then from there, it went right into Atlantic and right into, you know what I'm saying? Into Little Kim and the whole junior mob. So, so I always had the success. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I never came in the game like, okay, you know what? I had to prove myself because I already proved myself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like when we did Flavor in Your Ear, 
and 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 I always say this, and it's and it hurts me because you know, God bless there, my friend. You know, I, we lost Craig also. Yeah, mm -hmm. I always just felt like they never gave me enough credit. In you what way? As far as what he did, you know what I'm saying? With 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 one project, because Flavor in Your Ear, that record opened the door for the that bad boy. whole bad boy movement. And not taking nothing away from what Puff did for us, you know what I'm saying? But I always felt like, yo, that record propelled everything. It set everything up. It set, not, up bad boy. Puff set up bad that, boy. Though, I, I, I've heard Puffy say that 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 record Craig Mack like rushed them through the door. You know what I'm saying? It, I never heard it enough. What do you call it? Mm. That's what I'm saying. Me. Oh, I got. And you. I'm the person that was, you know, right there with him. You okay. know what I'm saying? And I just feel like, don't. This is not, not to take to, anything. Yeah. Puff is no, a goat no, no, legend. No, no. You know that. what I'm saying? But I always look at everything as like. I'm not into. I don't even understand this when people say this. Somebody give me my flowers. I don't need flowers. It's not even my flowers. No, give the person that just do. You know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. got a problem with anybody. Like you could talk shit about me. You could say I did this. I did this. That. I don't care about that. The only problem I got is when people try to erase your history. Rewriting when, history yeah, too. Yeah, that's where it becomes a problem. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because Ooh. everybody, there's, there's, you know, every, there's two sides of every Definitely. story. Definitely. I'm not perfect, you're not perfect, this, this, and that. But one thing I don't do, I don't erase nobody's history. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's the problem I got with people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No matter what problem you got with somebody, you don't erase their history. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And and the crazy shit is, and not to even touch this, with, with one thing I peeped, something that I peeped, I'm not going to go into it, but something that y'all said, y'all explained something, but at the same time, you stay. You still gave that person, yo. You know, at the end of the day, that person did do that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We, and that's real. That's that's, that's what I respect saying. out of anything. It's when somebody says something one way. I that's when it's crazy. like ah, that's corny. Because you know because it's the truth. And even when I had my other uh, breakups, I still had to acknowledge the history of how these people brought me in. Yeah, I'm like I'm. You gave me a chance. Fuck that. We're not going to rewrite history. Nah, no matter what it that, is. And man. I felt that when you said that, you know? Yeah. And, and that that's a that's that's a problem. That, that, that's the that's, that's the COVID in the music game within the black facts. executives. Word. Okay? Ooh, we go. That, that 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 you know what I'm saying? People understand. Everybody's talking about, yo, oh my God, the game, this, this, and that, that. Mm -hmm. No, no. I I no. White people are not holding us back in the industry. No. Nope. No. No, nope. no, it's I not. I say it all the time. You know what I'm saying? No, it's not. No, it's it, black executives as a whole. We hold ourselves back. We Facts. don't hold ourselves accountable. We don't uplift each other. We don't have a union. We don't sit together and support each other. You nope. know what I'm saying? Like I'm one of the few. Like, like, like you wouldn't believe how many people. Me, and my partner, G. Robertson, Al Brandt, Sean G. Cortez Bryant. Off. That's what makes up the Blueprint Group. You know what I'm that's, saying? That's some names. You ran yeah. through some. Th you do some legends right the thing there. Is, every, <laughs> Come on. Every time we do shit, I don't do shit for anybody in return that you owe me anything. You never owe me anything mm -hmm. when I do something for you. Facts. I just did something. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But there's so many people we've sat there put in positions. You know what I'm saying? And the thing that the only thing I always bother me sometimes is like when they're in position, when they're talking, yo, they never tell, they never thank the dudes who really set them up. They only thank the person that's right there in the face right now that 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 because you have to walk to his building. Yeah, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that bothers me. You know what I'm saying? About, and that's the thing. Like I told you a few moments before, when I went through all my stuff, I would tell Esso, this person still put me in this position. I mm -hmm. I gotta give them their credit. Yeah, yeah man. And, and 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 every backfire store we've spoken about, we still gonna get. They gotta get their credit though. It's there. Too. You got to, man. You got to. It's like... But isn't that a part of, of business? Everybody wants the credit because it goes back to the money. It goes back to the clout. It goes back to what they're really doing it for. It's also exactly. your legacy, like, you too. Gotta, no, but you got to understand. You got to understand this. Hmm. You put me on to this. I never was doing this for no money, no fame. We was in the back room mm -hmm. just doing it, saying, yo, yo, we going to give people knowledge, and you say, yo, you you be sharing knowledge. I mean, yeah. literally, this show is just based on our phone conversations. Wow. He he was begging me to do a show by myself, and he yeah. was going to take me to the top. And I was very hesitant. It's tough to do a show by yourself. 
Hell, it's tough to do anything by yourself. Yeah, and he kept fighting with me. Kept I think fighting. it's easy, though. He kept fighting. He kept fighting. And um, I would listen to the conversations because I consume content mm -hmm. differently. And I'm like, I'm listening to all the tops talking. I'm like, he better than them. Because he'd be saying some wild shit, though, Gene. Like, yo, when yo they're doing this because Jay-Z pulled up with the duffel bag of money, and that's how he got his deal at Def Jam. Yeah. I'd be like, that's not how it happened. Yeah, he's a, I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> we, we, you know, we call that barbershop talk. Yeah, thank you. That's, that's barbershop yo, talk. But, Gene, I'm on the phone, and I'm arguing. I said, people really believe that? Because oh, y'all yeah. so immersed in it. I said, so listen, I'm not so jaded that I need to believe the fantasy. Mm -hmm. I'm giving him the... Y'all so... Y'all music... Music industry to you is regular life. Yeah. So when y'all hear outside, you're like, that doesn't make <laughs> sense. <laughs> and I, you gotta understand, this comes from a guy who worked a job, though. Mm -hmm. So I have the benefit of knowing what it is to hit a punch <laughs> clock, but also be in corporate offices. Yeah. So I pull a little bit. So he's like, why is your mind still like that? I'm like, yes, it ain't. I'm just giving you context so we can weaponize it and win. Yeah. yeah. No, that's the, that's the way you do it. That's, that's yeah. what happened with Backfield. I, I, mm -hmm. I got to go back to something you said. Yeah. I want to make always be clear. Yeah. You can, things could be done by yourself. The only self part about doing all this stuff is, is it could be a self face. Mm. You need a, a team. team. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. Like, I would not be here. Like, when I tell you I love my team, you know what I'm saying? Like, we for. G. Robertson, Al Branch, Hip Hop, Sean G, Brian Calhoun. So, name. I, I can stand. name him. Nigel, Mo, down on my God, Murder. Jeez. Every, everybody, you know, everybody, uh, 80, you know what I'm saying? Uh, all these guys, like, the reason why I got to where I got is because of all these people around me. And we, you know what I'm saying? And the thing is, I always say this to people, you, like, I've been with my niggas, you know what I'm saying, over 25 that's years. That's what I was going to, how important is chemistry? Chem. If you don't have chemistry, it doesn't work. The only time you don't need chemistry, okay, is when you're in that building. Because when you're in that building, when you got mm. your team, that other side is just about a number. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 shit. Like, like I always said, like, thank God, like, you know what I'm saying, number one for, 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 for Craig. Thank God for Big, you know what I'm saying, take me in also. And then one of the biggest things ever is thank God for, for Kim. And, and, and Hillary and, every, Hillary. and all of them, to, and you know what I'm saying, who's still with me. All these people are still with me. You know what I'm saying? To sit there and have the belief in me to listen to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, to like, and that's one thing I learned. When I got in the music game, I tell this to all these young cats. Don't do this shit for money, fame, and bitches. You'll never get it. Mm -hmm. Do it because you love, love it, it and you'll get money, fame, and bitches. Period. <laughs> Period. See, I never did it. I was a dude, like, when we was on the road, I wanted to learn, like, okay, how does this work? Wait a minute, wait a minute. On tours, they got to get up and go to radio stations? This, mm -hmm. this, and that. I could have just been like, a, I, I'm just get the bags after yeah. that and go, go see the groupies. Nah, I wanted to learn it. Learn it. So mm -hmm. that's, how, that's how I was able to get into it. That's how I gained the trust The trust of, I knew what to do with Craig. When Alvin, mm -hmm. Alvin Tony's the one, and people understand, Alvin Tony put Rock Him and, and Eric B together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And Alvin's the one who saw, like, yo, Gene. Yo, I need you. You got to put this together. You know what I'm saying? Four or five was already EPMD's mm. DJ. And like, all right, cool, because he saw something in me. Like, yo, I was always understood. You know what I'm saying? So when I, the early days when we was in Puff's house out in, in Scarsdale, there wasn't even no office yet. <laughs> all right? I used to sit there and just listen and understand and, and listen to him talk and understand. And that's what made me understand what this music shit was about. Mm -hmm. And it gave me a gift also. There's no school for A&R. None. It's none. Okay? It's all it's all this and gut. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it was my gut to know, all right, cool, to get to hear a record. You know what I'm saying? Like people understand A and R and everybody thinks A and R is finding a beat and fucking putting and giving the rap and you make a record hit record. Anybody could be find a hot beat. Mm -hmm. You, you, anybody. No. It's getting an artist to do a record and having a body of work and seeing a vision. For the artist. And then you gotta get, then you gotta fight through making that artist understand his own vision. Cause artists are, are, are stuck in a creative mind thing and they're very selfish type beast. But if they don't have that, it almost doesn't give you the ability to become a star. Mm -hmm. So you can't, so you can't, so you it's, can't, it's, so, a, it's, yeah, a, it's a fine line. It's yeah. a fine line. So you gotta be that person. So everybody thinks that, 
You know what I'm saying? My job was just you find a hot beat. Half the shit is fucking Dr. Phil psychology shit with these artists. Sylvia Rohn, I always yeah. say Yo. Sylvia Rohn told me yeah. that. She said, Randy, you got to be a psychologist. Psychologist. You like, got to know how they think and what they're going to say, what their comeback is going to be. You got to worry about this guy in the crew, yeah. who tells him what to do, yeah. and, and this, and, and, and a special thing. And, especially, and, 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 and let me tell you, this goes, because I'm not, I don't want to be like I'm one-sided. I look at female artists, male artists, the same thing. The only thing you can't beat when that fame comes and all their lights start going is pillow talk and IRS. As a manager, you ain't beating that. <laughs> Yo, you ain't beating that. Okay, pillow man. Talk and IRS. So that that that's so, you know what I'm saying. So if you don't define that that relationship with your client at an early thing, you only matter of time because management is the most. Selfless, thankless job in the world. Yes. Yo, yeah, it's like, you know what I'm saying? That's why the, I stopped. He says the same thing. Yeah, literally word for word. That's it's the most sense. But 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 you but you know. But I didn't have a team. See, see, it's, it's that's different. The difference. It's, it's different. Why didn't you have a team though? Because I didn't. I was. Yeah. That's just how at that no, time. Did you not know, or you did, or you? Felt no, like, I, I worked with Bar with Barku, but people Barcou. have to. Me and Barku worked with Rock Wilder together, and I was with Char Charles Charles mm -hmm. at first. You know what I'm saying? And that went well, but things things changed. Like your their their conglomerate of managers have understanding. Mm. They came together when they were all established. They they was doing their thing. Yeah. I, I I never had a mentor. I never had none of that. I Got was you. coming in rough shot. Same on, way I came in on everything. But you, can you I not cut you off? Uh -huh. but you know what? It's that path. Like I always say, this I'm not the most religious person in the world, but I okay. look at things as one thing: is God has a path for everybody, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And some people, some people are built for teamwork. And some people are not. It doesn't make you a bad person, a good person. Mm -hmm. Like, I always know something about Randy, what I always like to, I mean, that's all. No, it's I'm fine. Gonna, it's all right. Right. It's all I don't know. care. It's yeah, all people know. Everybody, excuse me, you understand? It's my brother right here. We go back. <laughs> yeah, he so told I know me. people by real names. You have you know to understand. Saying? He was excited for this sit down. Oh, man. Nah, thank you. Like, like now nah, he's like, yo, bro, we have, this is our joint. I, don't, I, I shouldn't say this on camera, but I don't really get excited to sit down and talk to rappers about them mm -hmm. i want to talk to rappers about the world and how they perceive how it they perceive for it. the people because these kids and these grown people they don't understand mm -hmm. that the optics are different i've walked through different doors i've been to prince house mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i know jay-z I know Beyonce. Mm -hmm. I know Rockwell. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I know these people like I know Gene personally. Yeah. Clue is my best friend. It's, it's people that I know. Me being able to walk in those doors with those people, I saw things differently as well and was like, oh, shit. Yeah. I did not know that this shit was like this. But the difference between me is when they're telling me, when Sylvia Rohn tells me, I'm not thinking about what's going on. I'm listening. Mm -hmm. That's how I need to look at this shit. And I've tried to pass it down to people. I'm not Sylvia Rome. They don't listen to me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so when you have these lessons and you're trying to form a team, which we have finally formed a team, yeah. they understand these things. Mm. Even when we go back and forth, I'll tell him, I'll be like, yo, we'll talk about doing deals. I'll say, I'm the only nigga that did deals here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why am I, why y'all arguing with me? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, well, I don't get it. You well, know what I'm saying? Well, you know, well, you know now with in, in this world we're in, you know, like I said, I, I'm not the I'm not the older guy who's mad at the youth because I'm still in the neither, business. I love the youth. I, I, I understand I everything. Love it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Keep you know, winning. Like my 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 clients range still from the roots to Jill Scott all the way up right now to G Easy to Trippy Red to the Lotto. You know what I'm uh, saying? Yeah. So, Yo, so it's not like I'm a dude who's I, I'm out of it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and I try to tell Pete because I remember, I remember we was coming up and how another tier of generation of rappers felt like, all right, we're whack, we're out of line for the shit we saying. Yeah. So I never looked at it that way. I don't I don't do that. I love all the music and everything? No. no, even back then I didn't love all the shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But that, the, the thing I try to tell people, like, this is a business. You know what I'm saying? That, and that's what you understand. It's a business, and and the, the the key thing is understanding with 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 the whole thing. And this is for everybody who's watching understand this. You get in this music game, whether you're a manager, an a and a, a marketing director, or all this, right? It's you. You have to see everything a year ahead. 
You have to see everything. If you live just in the now, you, you're your time, you're finished. You have to see a time in your head. You got to understand everything don't last forever. Bro, you got, okay? you got like twins. Yeah, no, These no. The, yo, bro. The reason why you don't stand, like, even me and him, like, him me, me, like, him coming to the studio. Oh, I'm out of line right yeah, now. They, they saw, they saw this on? interview I had. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. It's all good. You and, busy. And even, like, like me and him, he, the way he attacked the game, which I understood, it was no nonsense. You can't tell him no bullshit. If he's here to get a beat pass or or go get a, a, a verse for his client, I saw that in Esso, like, yo, like, what we doing? And you stood <laughs> by a code. Yeah. Like, yo, Stand yo, listen, if you say that's what it is, it is what it is. Don't spin me. Don't, don't, spin don't, me. don't do he's, that. To, he's the same. And he's one of the few dudes that, when I first got in the game, yo, I spun a lot of niggas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I spun a lot of niggas, because I'm learning. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I spun my mad niggas. I, 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 he I was did. known for it. Yeah, I spun niggas at the same time. I told you what it was. I showed niggas how to get money. Like, yo, are you going to come me for advice? Nah, nigga, you going to pay me. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But to the world, I, I would be wrong. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But it's okay, though. But when you go sit with a lawyer and everything, you're not sitting in his office for free. And he's just giving you advice, this, this, and that. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And and, and 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 it becomes a fine line. Now, sometimes was I right with it all the time? No, no, no. Of course, of course not. You know what I'm saying? I was wrong, but people understand. Yo, when I spin, I spin for a reason. I spin yeah. actually. People understand my spin games to set you up is to put you in the conversation. There you go. But people don't peep that. People just peep. Uh, yo, he said he's gonna do this, this, and this doesn't happen in this amount of time. That quick enough. Unrealistic. You know what I'm saying? And that's one thing that, that's one thing my brother 80 taught me. You know what? What you're doing is right, but you have to give niggas a real time. Mm. I said, yo, how do I give a real time when when I when I I'm telling to do something? Because remember, mm -hmm. I have to go fight to my boss to get certain things done. Just because yeah. I want to do it. I could have and that's what here, here's a pertinent conversation. Mm -hmm. There's A and R's and there's A and R's with power. Yes. Okay? Yes. There's a big difference. Big and difference. And what me <laughs> and G and hip hop was like a and the great, power. We have fucking power. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I choose my power. I chose artists not only on their skill set, but I'm a people person first. I chose off, okay, you know what? I like his hunger. You can, know what I'm saying? Can you give me certain examples what made you choose Biggie, Kim, Nikki? Well, Did you choose Biggie? Oh, no, oh, no, I don't no, think we, back then it wasn't choices. You talking the about ones, with, the, the names. You the, talking the, about I'm with the, G with the situation. My, with my, the, my, I was, uh, when I say like choose to work with, right? Like, yeah. like I get, it, it, yeah. was, it, it was like this. Like, like, yo, I chose to work with Craig. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Nobody, nobody believed in. First of all, nobody believed in Craig and, and Craig and Big first. It wasn't an easy ride. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shit, when, they, when when we first dropped Flaming Your Ear and Juicy shit, we were, that shit was even getting played on hot on, on on the radio stations. People don't know that. They don't know that part. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't easy. You know what I'm saying? They're looking at a big fat black guy with crossed eyes. And they're looking at a big guy with pimples on his face and an afro. Picture that. But at the end of the day, I, when, I'm, when I when I started learning, yo, it's the music and how it comes across. Craig's voice and delivery is incredible. Biggie's wordplay when he spoke and the, the, I, I've never seen nothing like yeah. that before. So at first, it, it was a buildup, and the same thing, same, 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 same thing with Kim. You know what I'm saying? Chose, you know what I'm saying? Like, like she came to me like, little, and I and I saw it. Like, yo, th this is it. And you know, I remember. And this is all. This is all people who had teams. You know what mm. I'm saying? You had you, you had the Uns, you had the Jacobs, you mm. know what I'm saying? You had the Bucks, all these guys. You know, there's so many people that contributed to this whole movement that never get said. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when I say like, yo, when I do, I do a lot of shit, make a lot of decisions, yes. But it, it also comes from off of a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, that helped me make decisions. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't just, I did this, you know what I'm saying? I did that. No, never. And then, and then from there... It's time. It's that's when I still didn't have a team yet because at that time my only team was myself and four or five DJ four or five. I thought it was you, you and Hillary. I thought y'all no, managed Hil no, together. Hil no, Hillary was uh, worked at Bad Boy. Big's the one that put us in play with Kim. Okay. Wow. Okay. okay? And, and and then from yeah. there, Hill was out there doing everything, and then Hill called me like, "Yo, Gene, 
yo, I need you. You know what I'm saying? You got to be there. Like, I really put the helm gotcha. in. And that's when I sat there with, you know what I'm saying, with Craig Calman and Landon. Like, yo, your job is just solely yo, little Kim. And also, and also Kim wanted me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. that's, that's what it was. And mm -hmm. like I said, and I wouldn't be, and I, and I always say this, she, she's one of the greatest. You know what I'm saying? One of the greatest ever do. Kim is the blueprint of every female rapper now. You know what I'm saying? Of what she does. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? And 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 all that just helped me. That's what gave me the power. Everybody understand, you're not gonna be hot because of your management. Management and artists work. 50% management, 50% artists. I've never known a nigga who's hot because just your manager's hot. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand that. that I, 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 you know what I'm saying? That don't make no sense. That's why when a lot of people, all the stuff they see us that we've done, you know what I'm saying? Like I want to jump ahead mm -hmm. with an idea because you have the power to make this happen and it just mm -hmm. struck something in my heart. I think you need to do a documentary called the A&R, the Unsung Heroes. You know what's so crazy? We, we, we're actually right now, we're putting our, because our story's so complex, it's still going. We're, yes. actual, we're, it's, we're actually mm. putting something together because, you know, also, you know, we're into, we'll get into that. We're into no, filming okay. TV also. All right, all right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we're, at, we're going to get involved because yeah. he's, he's, he was in there. Yeah, so you got to tell your story. Man, yeah, uh, man, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're actually, we, we, we actually putting something together crazy. Shooting like a 10 episode series. Oh yeah, we, we, we doing yeah. that and also like, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and shout out, shout out, I'm saying this too early, I'm gonna say it because I love it, you know what I'm saying? I'm so excited. Yeah. Shout out to Dave Mays, it actually the whole source, mm. oh, the, okay. you know what I'm saying? The, the, the documentary in the series is being made, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We also have, we also have the film and TV, our partner, our TV, you know, Patrick Hughes yeah, yeah. and Heat, you know, they run, you know, it's, Foundation BPG, we have we put out the fucking the, the 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 bad guys the 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 who just came out the great numbers the the animation film and all oh, that. Oh, you did? Yeah, we doing a lot of a lot. Of, you, 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 know, you know me and G, we all we quiet. We, we quiet. You know, <laughs> I, mean? I knew G since he was in Baltimore yeah. at Loyola. I was at uh -huh. Morgan State and he was at Loyola. His his roommate was Black Mike. Yeah, it's, roommate, it's, I go back with them a long way. And and yeah. really, him, you know what I'm saying. I was, I was, I was in those brothers right there. Like I was, I was just like you. I was really by myself. Really, it was the mm -hmm. fact. Remember, I come from the bad boy side. G Hop and Al, they come from the rock Rockefeller side. side. It's just when that shit disbanded, G and the, yo come over to Atlantic. This, this we got together. It was like yo, we've been rocking. You understand? Mm -hmm. We was the, you know what I'm saying? I, we just gelled, and then we built an empire. We started, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, Hop and G, and started hip-hop since 1978. Yeah. They brought me in, mm -hmm. and that was 25 years ago from there. I went on Atlantic, he was there. Yo, I tore that building up. Plies, T.I., the Trey songs. Uh, 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 I, I could keep naming it. You know what I'm saying? That's where mm -hmm. we got our real A&R chops up, where we proved to the world, you know what I'm saying, that we're not good. Well, great. great, you know what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. and just and just kept it going. Then we went over and ran in scope Geffen, you know what I'm saying, and then then went to RCA, like just you know people understand, like you know we everything we saw people do we could do. I remember when when, when I signed G Easy, everybody laughed. They laughed when I signed the white boy. Word. They, they laughed at first, but it wasn't funny, you know what I'm saying. I, I, after they realized, like yo, <laughs> this guy's doing five six thousand CDs without one radio record. I remember that we were the first to learn that, yo, it's nothing to take away from radio. We started, I don't need that first. We start seeing a whole different thing. We was the one to see Wiz Khalifa when he was just at Warner, nobody understood. And it took this um A and R Lloyd Z Element come talk to me, show me son. Yo, downstream, bingo, bingo, five, put out black and yellow, bingo. Without radio. Without just go. We just knew it. That guy was signed at one. Like, they didn't know I what know, to do. Because, no, they had because he had the first record. He had the yeah. first record, then they shelved it. Yeah, he had Youngin on his grind. Yeah. Young, uh -huh. And that's when when we sat down with Punch, he had did the remix yeah, to give him a Brooklyn vibe. Gotcha. But yeah. that's what I'm talking about when being an A&R is, is your gut. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, somebody <laughs> brings something to me and tell me, and I know how to react on it, because I just got to see it. Because I understand it because... This guy was doing fifteen hundred seats and everything, and I'm ha I've had artists with records on they the chart. I it. can't do three hundred seats. seats. <laughs> so I'm like, yo. So I start seeing the world <laughs> changing quick. So yeah. I jumped into that game, and I, that's when I got into the whole G Easy understanding. Yo, it's not just about the the you know the charts and records. It's it's more to it. You, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We know how to build the fan base up from a whole different level. You know what I'm saying? And 
that's what I try to explain to everybody because everybody wants to be an A&R until you get that position and realize you can't do it. You realize because you're thinking it's a fun job. Yeah. All I do is be in the studio and do I this get to now. be with rappers no, and I'm traveling no, and they're no, going to know me. 80% of it is a numbers game, a psychology game, and on top of that, and if you don't hit a certain number, is that these people are not going to renew your contract. You that's go. why I see these young these guys come and go. And that's what I've always fought for. Like, like yo, us as the, we don't, we, we don't surround and uplift and protect like, like the way they do. You know what I'm saying? We, they, 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 they don't protect the younger guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm so proud. Every young executive right now you see in the game is a dude that me and my team has touched. Tunji, mm. Dash, you could keep naming them. Mm. Brooklyn, Johnny, all these guys. Mm. You know what I'm saying? These are all dudes that 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 the that, umbrella, yeah. That we've touched. That you know what I'm saying. I'm talking about like I, I'm the dude who signed the LEP boys when everybody was scared to death. You know what I'm saying. I'm the dude who signed Maino when everybody was scared to and death. And he loved. He and, showed you so much yeah, love. Yeah, man. and I proved to the and I proved to the world that you know what I'm saying. Like yo, I could take a dude. You know what I'm saying. Like and, and just to him too. He doesn't get enough credit. You know what I'm saying. At a time in New York when they there was nothing really happening, people don't realize. Even before, not take away before French's reign, Mano put out records. The first New York was the time they say nobody was selling. A guy when we put up that high hate and all the above, yeah. like pe people don't get it. People don't, that was a moment. Yeah, people. I, so I sit there literally, you know what I'm saying? To have him and eighty come to me, and all I saw was dudes who come from a whole different lifestyle who had a vision and a plan. So my job is yo to help them. You know what I'm saying? I didn't do it because of this, this, and that. Because at first, everybody was looking at, everybody was scared to death to work with him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But scared I, to I, work with Mano? Yeah, at first, everybody mm -hmm. was, you know, like, yo, we don't yeah. know this, this, that's and that. That's when he was my man. Yo, that's and, why, and, that's and, why he let told me tell, you. Let me tell you how people so I've known Mano 16 years. Yeah, yeah. that's my, yeah. people are such suckers, they actually thought at one point that, like, 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 motherfucking niggas was extorting me. No, these are my friends. Yeah. You can't extort Gene Nelson. That don't happen. It don't happen. It, it, it never happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, people thought that. I did. Yo, me and G signed Mano, number one, because number one, I thought he was dope. And number two, my my, my man, 80. No, number three, I, I wanted to show Atlantic. It, yo, you can watch make. it. I could take something from scratch mm -hmm. and something that nobody believes in and make it happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why I did it. And after that, and only that, I did that to give that man a platform. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not always going to be in your life. When you're an A&R, it's build and on to the next. Yeah. That's how it is. That's how I live. If you don't like it, this, this, and that, I don't care. I gave you a platform. You get 15 minutes. Make it an hour, nigga. That's, Yo, that's life. Um, can I ask you this, man? You work with Kim and you also work with Nikki. Yes. How was that navigating it? Because, <laughs> no, because they had their friction. That's more, and I, I'm not talking about the friction. Mm -hmm. It's because of you, how you think mentally. Sometimes that could be stress. Maybe a person's pulling you okay. here. A person, and I'm not saying they did that. Okay. Just the perception of dealing with that. Let me tell you the perception, the whole Nikki Kim thing. Number one, both incredible. A amazing. Actually love them, love working with them. So it was easy. Number one, it was, it's two different to work with them, it was easy for, you know what I'm saying, for me, and, for me and G, you know, all of us and Tez and everybody. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because, like I said, Kim, no matter what they're different about, Kim is still a blueprint of every, you know what I'm saying, of yeah, what every female rapper is. And then Nikki was great enough to take that blueprint and make it her own blueprint and go to a whole different level. So but they're both two different people, but I understood both their angles where they come from so that's why that's the synergy i could work with her and mm. then go work work and work with her and understand it. and at the same time also i gotta give credits credit out due to what deb and fendi did you know what i'm saying to build her up when yeah, we came in we just took credit. her to the whole other level people don't give them enough credit you know what i'm saying of, yeah. to, to take that to that and then after that it came to us and we took it to okay, level yeah. level 10 yeah. And once again, and once again, and and 
Kim was great, worked with great, loved it, was on her own. Not every day is a good day with anybody or any artist. And one thing I would say to me, even with Nicki, Nick, Nick, Nicki to me is a better rapper than certain dudes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, that monster verse. Jesus. That was no. We don't need. Let's not talk about that. Verse. Jesus, because you already know how, how I feel about Nikki. She from Southside, yeah, just like me. You know what I'm saying? So everybody think I'm biased. You know nah, bro, that ain't. That's no, the I'm just one talking, time I'm you ain't over Nikki in general. But the monster verse is 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 my most classic verse from her. Yes. Period. Yeah, That's, well, everybody, every artist has that moment. It's the breakthrough moment. That moment was hands down. It, she caught a body on that. Yes, but that's the moment that introduced the world to, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Nicki Minaj, and then it's what you do after. Gotcha. And she delivered. Oh, she the delivered? Yeah. <laughs> delivered. You know what I'm saying? She dropped a meteor. Yeah, the like, you know, that, moment dude. for life, all that yeah. stuff. You know what I'm saying? A lot, and, and a lot of people do not understand that. And that's why it was, that's why I could go from Kim to, 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 to 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 Nikki to to Lotto to this this that I I completely understand the whole female rapper thing you know what I'm saying yo you are you are like the female rapper <laughs> whisperer yeah, yeah like I, I understand the <laughs> especially in the because I'm chair. just looking at him and I'm like oh my god how all does these he chicks deal? yeah yo how is you not it's, no look it's, 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 I don't know it's starting my hairline's starting to go you can see it's, 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 it's run my nigga yeah. don't do that I lost my shit talk about it's crazy you know I learned fuck out of here. I, I, le I learned a lot of shit. And also, <laughs> and oh my god! And, 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 Fuck you too. You know I'm forgetting <laughs> too. Charlie Baltimore. Oh, I'm forgetting about her too. Charlie Baltimore. Yes, yes. See, it was a pleasure. Uh, actually, pleasure working with her when she was signed to to Undias. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep real. Everybody, yo, listen. Everybody speaks. I don't know her. what this sauce this girl Charlie Baltimore yeah. got, but mm -hmm. everybody that has come in contact with her, shout out to you, Charlie Baltimore. They yeah. speak highly of this girl. Like yeah, high. Yeah, yeah. Like like why yeah. didn't she blow up? Like everybody yeah, yeah, thought yeah. that she should have because everybody within the game that has power speaks highly. Yeah. I, I, let me tell you something. I, 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 Charlie's great. So first of all, super cool person. Yeah. Super sexy. Super cool. Mm -hmm. It's just at the end of the day, it's at some Time point man. you gotta. It's gotta connect. I don't mm -hmm. know. You know what that is, but I still. You know, I I, I think she's great. But if we want to have a real convo. It's just. You have to catch that moment. I don't think she was ever able to catch that, that moment. moment. And she, she got with the right cant, but it was at the wrong time. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Cause she, because you, I think that that hove and big look that she never got is like, that's that's pivotal. Like yeah, everything's pivotal. It's the mo right, like that. The whole that was thing. It. it was towards the end. The undies thing. Yeah. It, it was towards the end. Yeah. And she got yeah. with murder ink. It was towards yeah. the end. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if Chai would have caught shit in the everything's yeah. time. Stride. Like you know, you're crazy Time, man. wide receiver running. Yeah, you, you in the pocket. You never know, but that goes for all of us. It's all, all timing. Yes. My shit was, you know what I'm saying? I can't say my shit is all all. But of you know shit. why your timing it's is all good? God and timing. You know that, what, yo, that, what did you just say? I, this is Essel's um, yo, philosophy. I say, yo, you, you saw it a year ahead. Yeah, yeah. That's and I, I, and I always said, said that to me. I always, yo, everything that we've done, what I tried to do, Gene, was I saw when he asked me to do the show with him. Mm -hmm. I've said in the music business, we try to figure out what's the void and how and then what's smoking. Mm. How how can we fill a void and take what's smoking too? You know mm. what I'm saying? Whatever that vibe is. So I told him, I said, yo, being around Cala with Clue, Cala said, yo, when you get somebody's ear, you gotta burn their ear down. You mm -hmm. don't lose their ear. I said, we're gonna take that philosophy and we're gonna bring that to podcasting. We're going to burn these dudes' ears down. Yeah, man. We're going to find places to work. I said, what else are they doing? I said, what else are they not doing? Y'all don't do no real business. Why y'all not doing business? Y'all not getting with the labels. They got marketing promo mm -hmm. side. This is what we're doing. We're marketing and we're promoting product. Yo, so I start talking to Def Jam. I start talking to Atlantic. They start giving us a couple dollars to put their rappers and they singers on camera. So now we say, I said, all right, so we, we loving this shit and we finding mm -hmm. ways to get music from this. What's the next thing? H Honey German and a Angie Martinez came out. Mm -hmm. And we had went viral off Nikki, mm -hmm. which was ironic. I didn't know she was trying to have a kid, mm -hmm. but she was missing. And I said, oh, she's probably about to ha have a baby or something. <laughs> just, I said, I just said it like, like that. that. That's what women do. Yeah. And it went viral. Mm -hmm. 
And Ku called me, he was like, take that shit down, because everybody knows that you're my best friend, and Nikki think that I told you, and yeah. all this other type yeah. of shit. Real shit. Yeah. Yeah. I came nah, in the power, I, I came in the power, and they was like, the hottest niggas on the internet was me and him. The <laughs> next day I came in, it was just me and Clue, and, and Honey came out with Aunt Angie, and mm -hmm. um, they were like, yo, and Angie don't remember this, but Honey probably do, like, yo. You got to market yourself like a rapper. Yeah. And I was like, like a rapper? Gee, I, I, gee, I went home and smoked for two, three days. <laughs> like, I'm young, I, said, I, said, I said, because and Angie, for her to agree with Honey German, mm -hmm. that's some legendary shit. shit for me to say, what, as a rapper? So I said, oh, shit. I got to fucking work out. Yeah. I, he had, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 he forced I forced me I to got, lose forty pounds. I gotta change. Yo, you could, yeah, my yo, face was way. What, homie? What? Did, let me tell you something, man. <laughs> and I cut you off. Nah, guy, do your thing. Yo, I, one point, homie, I was I was like three oh five, three ten. Dead. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But like I said, like and, and mm -hmm. that that gym life, and, and thank God for like another great dude, my guy Nigel Tally, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Another great one. You know what I'm saying? Like Nigel, my man, murder. What do you call it? Introduced me to gym life. That mm -hmm. shit changed my life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now I'm up here. I'm on I'm I'm pull up bars, doing all mm -hmm. types that of shit. That pull up bars is my weakness. It's my weakness yo. too. Oh, no, G. we bar life. Man, yo. But yo, you know that bar that's life makes you a, a different type of fighter. Yo, yo, son. I fought niggas. That's how that bar life is yeah, the toughest you, niggas it, that, I ever fought. It's, it's mentally for me. Dog. Yeah, I, I got one problem though. I got one of my homies yeah. could be fronting. My yeah, man, he know. Yeah, yeah. My, no, he don't know. My man Mo telling me he could do a hundred straight uh, on the bar. But with, the fast ones. That, 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 he bullshit. They we don't care. We gonna put him to the test one day. You know what I'm saying? A hundred, saying, a hundred yeah, on yo, the bar. Yo, ass, Heineken, the bar niggas the, the is the toughest niggas me, I ever fought. He told me he's gonna get on the bar yo. and do clean a hundred. He's gonna switch the grip. I'm what? like, we waiting on that one. Oh. Him. <laughs> Yo, I you, shook his um, head. I shook. I know they can fight. Yo, 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 listen. He I doing it. Yo. My man was out here early. He about early. his business. <laughs> I'm not going to doubt you, my brother. Oh, he got some. I, look, oh, no. you got somebody who believes you because I don't. This man was out here chilling. This man yeah, is about his business. Yeah, he wasn't my talking. He was on point. I'm not going to doubt that. You can man. always tell what type of rumble you're going to be based yeah. on how a motherfucker shake your hand. Hey, listen, man. He, could, he, he, he could shake a hand and, 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 and turn flour into a, <laughs> uh, a beef daddy. Yeah. That nigga ain't doing 100 straight. I'm telling you right now. He ain't doing it. You got to show me, homie. If you show me, then I'm cool. But for right now, you know you know my hate's impeccable. I'm yo, a hater. Yo, yo, my hate hater. is impeccable. He's a hater. I'm a hater. Yeah. Everybody knows my hate is impeccable. I'm going to tell you what it is. The no one that Mado had high hater. Come on, exactly. He's a tough guy, yo. Man. You understand me? Me, me and Mado, same type of niggas. Oh, you know no, what I'm saying? Oh, oh, me and him squabble. We fight right now. Me right, right now, he mad at me. There's no way, there's no way you was going to be on and around the type of people he was Hell doing no. and the type of music that he was bringing mm. out and not have that edge of hate. Everybody was Yo, great, bro. Everybody. Yo, Gene, this is what Gene was known for. He don't like shit. Nothing. I heard that. He don't nothing. like shit. Nothing. Yo, Gene even when everything. Even when I would see him and there would be time to go play and shit, I would be telling my niggas, like, yo, just give me the best one or two beats that you got. Don't because give me all the shit. Knew how to, but you know what <laughs> At the same time, S, S, S knew how to deal with me. So you, know, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. he know at the end of the day, I'm coming from my heart, a good place. You know what I'm saying? So mm. S knew, like, like, yo... When I go sip this nigga, Gene, I already know. And S used to look at me like, yo, Gene, stop playing me. I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> Y'all the yo, same yo, dude. Stop playing me. I'm like, yo, man. S used to be like, yo, all right, Gene, go ahead and fucking spin me, nigga. Yeah. He used to look at me like this. Go ahead. Try it, my nigga. You, you about to catch these mittens. Yo, listen, you know what I'm saying? Based on what you just said and when you mentioned Deb and Fendi, that A and R thing would have to be multiple seasons, because now you'd have to do per person and develop. Like it could really be a Netflix. Yo, listen, it's a never ending. That's idea. the point. If they do a series, they have. To, I feel like that they have to do a movie because the series is is never. Yo, is that's never the point. Ending. It's, it's a it, never ending check, it, it's, nigga. It's never like you understand. Like this. That's why I'm saying it. right now. Mm. In my at my age and still being here. I thank God for that. You yeah. know what I'm saying. Mm. We still here, you know what I'm saying? We like like the artists that we're doing, you know, that still count, you know what I'm saying? 
like I always say, like, man, I, I, I'm thankful I'm not regretful. Is the game stressful sometimes? Of course it comes to stress, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, man, this is how I feed myself, my family. And, and yo, yeah, everybody knows, yeah, yeah, we we made it. We, we the most, a shitload of money. We're, we're, we, we, and I never talk like this, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because we're not about that. Are we powerful? We're powerful and quiet. Because you know why? That's the best word. We fair niggas, and, and, and there's still a lot of stuff, even with the power, as much power as you think you have, somebody else got more. Somebody power. got more power and still the struggle. Yeah. I still got a lot of friends that I still have to put on, but I learned something right now. I don't rush to put my friends in situations that don't work out because that's what's going to turn bad. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So right now, what I do is, I'm there for my people. That you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it, like I always tell people like this, man. You could use me. You're supposed to use your friends for opportunity, but not like in a foul, opportunistic way. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I got a problem with. You know what I'm saying? So right now mm -hmm. what I learned is I got to do things on my time because I deal with the higher ups. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm pr I like, and this is no cap or nothing like that. Me and G are probably, you know what I'm saying? The rest of the most powerful niggas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Quietly in this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and, and it comes with a lot of that. responsibility and I can't help everybody. I can, but I got to do it in the right way. You know Otherwise, what I'm saying? It'll hurt your it's empire. Gonna hurt. Yeah. It's, it's gonna hurt, and I've done that. I've rushed to put my friends in situations, and it doesn't work out. At the end of the day, and it's weird because at the end of the day, I'm I, I, I'm responsible. You know what I'm saying? Like, it don't work out. It's They're gonna come back to, to you. you. I always so, so, so now, yeah. so, so now, I don't care how mad they yeah. get, how long it takes. I just always let them know. Trust me, I'm watching. I know when to tap in mm -hmm. because before that, I didn't know when to tap in. I mm. tapped in off a rush emotion, get something done to prove my, then it didn't work out. And then I realized son, they're still going to be mad at me. Yeah. Either so, way, you lose. Yeah, yeah. So now I learned not to lose. Mm -hmm. I learned that, yo, it's going to go this way, my way, because I'm in this seat. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I'm not going to control your destiny. You know what I'm saying? Mm. No matter if I sign you or sign you or not, your talent and what you do is going to control your destiny. Not me. I'm just one step. Okay, is that step important? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But is it the step that's going to define you? No. Mm. What's going to define you as an artist, whatever you're doing, is what you do. After and, you, uh, get, after you get that that platform. Mm -hmm. and, that's all, and that's all to it. And that's the shit that I'm on right now. And right now, every dude that's around me, that I witness, you know what I'm saying, that's still around me, is I didn't give them shit. Nah, them niggas proved themselves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I watched Nigel come from nowhere to now to the shit he's doing at Almo and ESTG and all this shit right now. And then right now, we doing the hottest nigga in the world right now. This got this kid, HD Picasso, out of Asbury Park, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. We about to fuck the whole game up. You know what I'm saying? And even right now, I still hold position. Me and G and, and, and Steve O and Aaron and Tom, we still run Warner. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I got oh, uh, it's just it's just, it, it's just an ongoing thing. But the thing is about us is we stay quiet and we mm. just put the numbers on. That's why we still here. You're not gonna last in this game where we at. If it's a business, it's you a business. Produce. If you ain't got the number, it's a business. The reason why I'm still here is not because of what I've done in the past. I, I don't give a fuck about yesterday. What you're points. doing right now, what it's you're what planning I'm doing right on now. doing next year, and that's why I, we only touched on big a little bit. Kim a little bit, because I want to know, you got Lotto. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Who else? You, you, G Easy. <laughs> Why you? Why you got Lotto? I want to interview Lotto. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah, my yeah, nigga. Yeah. I'm, I'm scum, G. Yeah. In a good way. Yeah. In a good way. But and, 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 and I would like love I said, to see her. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen. Come on, that's so nice. And like I said, like I said, I can't promise anything. No, of but course not. Y'all got the relationship with me, so you know it's just a phone yeah. call. No, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's what I had to learn because when I came into this game, it was all about getting the, the story. I was really savage mm -hmm. with it. You know, most people see me on the other platforms. They just think I came out of nowhere. And that's how me and Esso started doing business. When he mm -hmm. met me, he didn't know my resume. So when I walked into Power 105 and he's like, how do you know all these people? He's like, yeah. but I don't know you. I mm -hmm. said, well, it's off this Internet thing. And that's what started part of our journey. And he was like, yo, you've done this, you've done that, you've done that. I'm like, yeah. Sure. How are we going to make it connect now? Because this piece is missing. And when we did our first interview with um, YG. Yeah, I think that's the first time I've seen y'all. Yeah, and, uh, and I told that. So, uh, yeah. uh, one of the executives was like, yo, just go easy on the interview. I, I, I shot my gun. Yeah. And it fucked up the relationship. I did. Mm -hmm. It cost us money. And... He and I had to work out the kinks. 
Mm -hmm. You know, so when I hear how you y'all talk about the relationship and making sure things are good and executing and going about it right way and and developing and evolving, it really touches differently. Because otherwise, you out of here. Yeah, you, you. No, it's a it's a real. And, and here's the thing: I tell everybody this. Yeah. Once you get a team, whether it's three, because a team is two, three, four, yeah, five. Yeah. Once you get a team, that's when the shit works. I'm talking about a team that you have chemistry with. Yeah. You can see a lot of teams, what do you call it, but you can look at that chemistry. Let me there. ask you this. Do you need to be friends to have chemistry? Absolutely. Because think, think about this. Michael Jordan, Dennis Rodman, and, and Scottie Pippen weren't friends. They didn't mm -hmm. hang out, nothing. It was all about when it's time to punch in on that clock, it was magic. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, do you have really, or does yeah. it, when the lights come on. I'm about to tell you some real shit right go now. Go for it. You see what you just said right yeah. there? Michael Jordan, were well, they friends. Personally, no. But they were on a team, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, who's the, that's the team, right? Yeah. As long as the relationship is there, as long as they could do their job, right? Yeah. As a team. Who's the fucking owner? Who's the team? The Bulls. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. that, 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 each individually have to have that relationship with the thing, yeah. with, 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 your, with, with your foundation is. Like me and G and Hop and all, we're a team and this, this, even right now. At the end of the day, the relationship to keep the team going is two sides of it is okay to keep the relationship with the CEOs of, of Warner, Atlantic, mm -hmm. Universal. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's where. They all separately had their inner team, you know what I'm saying? Because they mm -hmm. all have their own brand, People you know, that are other along. things going on. But that's the basis, you know what I'm saying? The basis of us, of Blueprint, our distribution, our label is heavy, what do you call it? Our management side is heavy, our touring shit is heavy, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, our team is, once again, G. Mm -hmm. Robeson, Gene Nelson, it's Sean G., Cortez Ryan, Dang. Al Branch, you know what I'm saying? Hip -hop, like, and all different. We cornered every different Bro, market. I, I know all those names. Yeah. So I know what y'all just... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we, we cornered yeah. ev ev everything. You know what I'm saying? And not only that, it's not just... Now, my team, that's the nucleus of us we call, but our team extends to that. Because, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, 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 I have my film partner, Patrick Hughes, Heath Dwayne Williams. I I, I, have, I have Nigel. I got Peter, Drew Scroll, a little Bibby to all of them. Like, people Bibby. understand? Oh, We're all that's connected. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, so, like, and, and the thing is, if you notice what we do, we make each of our guys stand alone. Yeah. Stand alone. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Stand stand alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, 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 and we... Everything we do, we like I've helped people from the heart. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like people don't realize, even with Shaft, with Cardi and all this stuff. If you if yeah. only people knew the real story. Like people don't stand, I, I put her on love in hip hop. You know what, what I'm saying? Shaft came to me, you know, I call I called Mona and put her, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like I know you got there's the so many things Mona. like, you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. we're not the type, these are just little mm -hmm. things I could touch on and Shaft tell you. Shaft always shows me a lot of love. Cause we had did an interview with Cardi mm -hmm. and she she went crazy. On camera. <laughs> oh, did, no, no, no. And he, listen, Gene, this interview, even if we put it, it's, it doesn't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. We erased it. If we put it out today, it would do 30 million. Yeah. He came to me and he said, Bro, I know I don't know you, but can you please delete this part? Mm -hmm. I closed my eyes. And I always want good karma. I said, I got you. Uh, yeah. I had to go back to the people at the office. Mm -hmm. I said, We got to take this out. We got to take it out. And they're like, yo, this is going to make us a lot. I was like, for good karma, she didn't know what she was saying. Let's just take it out. The relationship. And Shaft the relationship. always, to this day, shows me. He'll see me and be like, I didn't know him at the time. I mm -hmm. heard you he was a savage. I was like, yo, bro, I rather the good karma. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. People understand that. Yeah. It's good karma. And not everything is for clickbait. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I like, was on that years ago, yeah, but it's, it don't feel good. I don't, I don't. I, I, that, you know, yeah. that, that, that there's certain it's things. Tough. Is, it, it, it's tough because you know why? Because at the end of the day, we're in the entertainment world. And I get it. If you, no matter what you're doing, you got to have entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nobody wants to hear a, a, a boring or watch a boring a podcast. Motherfuckers want to hear like, yo, what the fuck is really going on out here? Like, how's this <laughs> shit? How do you really feel? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, it, 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 yeah. and, 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 and I get it, but I think now these days, a lot of people are crossing too many lines, man. It'd be sucker <laughs> shit to me. 
Like just me personally. I feel like, that. Like, yeah, and then yo, me and Esso had to go back and forth. He said, "Revamp way, your bro. angles." Yeah, man. We like, beyond click because these because these guys are my friend. I I, I had to yeah. tell him. I said, yeah. "Clue is really my best friend. It's yeah. not. It's, it's not for fake. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So even when we was talking to Flex, and when I finally saw Flex, like Flex has seen me a lot of times, but he appreciates what I do mm -hmm. on this podcast inside, and he yeah. has showed me mad love. And when we finally got together, Han was there, and like something had occurred with him and Clue, kind of a mm -hmm. little bit. And I was just like, I just want peace, my guy. That's it. Yeah, I, the you man. Look, look, listen, man, I look at it. Everything <laughs> is is it, it, for, oh, first of all. Right, first mm -hmm. of all, it, it, am I talking too much? No. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. First of all, to me, even entertainment is entertainment beef is not street beef. <laughs> so man, <laughs> it's, yeah, just, it's, it's, not... a, it's just a bunch of emotions and yapping. A little bunch of George jacking to me, me personally. You know That's what I'm saying? How I feel about it ain't it, no, it ain't no, it ain't no real. You know what I'm saying? Like, like street shit. You, you, you coming your hands over some music shit? Like, like yeah, come it's on, for, for it's, what? It's, it's like for what? Like, we're like, we're, what are we doing? You, you, it's agree to disagree. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it, I, it is t I, I mean, even though now we're in a different world, we watch a lot of these young artists. It's sad what's going on. Like these, these yeah. I, I've never seen an era where. You 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 you're safe for being a street nigga and become you become yeah, a rapper and get wow. shot. This is the most backward shit I've ever seen in my life. Wow. I said, wait a minute, you become a rapper, you go to jail, you get shot. Then what I, are doing? I asked somebody that. I think I asked little little baby that or somebody. But I'm keeping like, it real goes wrong. Yeah. And it's dumb. You know what I'm saying? And I get it, and I don't take nothing away, because you tell your story when God puts these and, and I, I hope we fit puts these kids. To give them that moment of fame and to get, you know, make some real money, correct money, and know how to make it. Not everybody's gonna be a rapper and and and, and gonna be a billionaire or this, this, and that. It, it's it's what you you get enough to make yourself straight. Yes. And you gotta think what happens after. Because mm. nobody stays hot forever. No. Okay, you're not gonna be in the charts forever. But what you can do is build your brand. Mm -hmm. And that's what every artist that I deal with manage with. I'm not worried about your record. Your record is the catapult. You know what I'm saying? The catalyst. That's the platform. Yeah. I look, okay, what is your brand? After Cause, that. Yeah, because music don't, you know what I'm saying? Music like, is up and down. As soon mm -hmm. as, soon as a, they hear the song, they want to see who you are. Yeah, that's it. It's up and down. What are you, what are you doing? Because right now, it's not just about how good your song is these days. It's who you dating, what you talking about, what else you doing, you know what I'm saying? All that adds into the whole thing. And especially now, because of this right here, fuck the whole game up. Everything. Okay? Everything. So, damn, it, that damn right iPhone. now, everybody's famous now. Everybody's on. You go on only social media. I want to see. I I want to go because if I go on, I'm not on social media. If I go on social media, I'm gonna tell you every day how fucked up I am. What's going you, on? He hit you from the dark side. He yeah, did, he, was, he hit you on DM like every, this is me. Everybody <laughs> is rich on Instagram and, and and Twitter. Everybody, this is going good. This is this is this is going that 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 that. And I'm sitting there, I'm looking at, yo, I'm having a fucked up day. And I'm not, no disrespect, I'm looking at niggas, yo, I, I got way more money than all you niggas. I don't understand how this niggas happen. Like, what's going on? Like, Your shit? I'm like, what, I'm like, what is going on here? Everybody, I don't know how everybody's affording this shit. I, yo, I, I know how the music man, is made. The man said that same thing. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Meth said, yeah. Meth, uh, Meth said, how are all these motherfuckers taking private planes? I, and I, they I, have to tell them, they yeah. just, you know, they I, have the service, you rent the plane, yeah. and you take pictures and then drive off. I've like never been in, I've never been, I've never seen this. I I, I understand. <laughs> I've never seen dating a girl and, and, and giving girls Bentleys and stuff. I, no disrespect, you can do it all, but I don't understand how this is get done. I don't get it. I don't either. wait. wait. I, I'm lost. I, I do the math on streams. I could, I, 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 yeah, I, I'll break shit down. No, like, talk about streams. You, 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 hear this. you know, number by number, how much money you make. Okay. Yes. This doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. It doesn't up. add up. <laughs> and I'm not saying these cats are not getting their money. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But the way it's perceived is fucking people up. Just like everybody think, oh my God, it's so bad to be on a major label these days. Shut the fuck up. Half these niggas is lying. I, I, say, I say that. They're lying. From I want to go independent. That's their goal. Here it's goes. It's to go yeah. to a major. Yes. Yes. That's yes. your goal, number one. Here <laughs> it goes. Yes. Every label is the same. It's like any business, Okay. It's a business, okay? So none of these people are really your friends. 
It's based on they sign you. If you're doing well, you're going to get more like any business. If you open up a fucking store and you have a clothing line and your hoodies ain't selling, I don't care if it's your best friend. Yo, the shit ain't selling. What are we going to do? <laughs> I can't just keep the shit in the store sitting there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not so, going to keep losing money. So we got to start figuring that. We got to figure out, okay, how do we fix Market this? Market and sell Nobody it. figures out how to get, when you get in a major system, is how to fix the problem. They think beef and this, this and that. And you know what kills me too? Mm. Yo, and then when the beef starts, why do we tear, you fight with your brother publicly, oh, yeah. we call it, mm -hmm. but they don't say nothing, nothing about that man. That's that really, that's you. really, yeah. That's really, yep. that, that, okay, that's half yep. the problem. Yeah. Yep. But you're killing your man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're killing your man. I never see these dudes get on there and body the heads. Because you, you know why? Because you niggas is pussy and you're scared to really say what yeah. it is. Mm -hmm. but, you, but, but you're going to body your manager. You're gonna body your A and R yeah, guy. You're definitely gonna body. You, you know what I'm saying? You're definitely gonna body your manager first. Yeah. And, 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 and let me tell you, I always tell this: all all these new guys who get an act going to manager. The first thing I tell them, your homie, get a business manager. What do you mean? Get that person business act. You know what the first thing? And when something go wrong, they're gonna say you, you stole that money. money. Yep. That's a you can never hear that we stole niggas money because from there we knew business manager. I don't touch your money. That money comes to the person and it gets. Okay, so Just I give can't me touch my piece. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 and that's what I tell every all you new guys, you get your new hot artists popping, get them a business manager, and that's it. That solves that problem. Okay, yeah. take that equation out of it. That's because one. now they're gonna figure out the next thing. And I'm not saying not all artists are piece of shit. But the majority of them, it's not, it, 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 the, 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 Gene, I've heard this. Yeah. I've heard, yo, y'all guys are literally saying the same yeah, thing, the, word for word. And I'm telling you, the majority of them, I'm sorry, yo, talking. they're only loyal to as much as you could give them. You know what I'm saying? And I'm cool with that. And yo, I'm cool they, with that. Yo, they kill me online for this shit. Yeah, no. And I'm they cool. kill me online and I'm, for and, this shit. And I'm yo, cool. There's certain famous And I'm people. cool with that. That's life because it's the same thing. Yo, Sorry. if I got a girl, if I can't knock her off to the way where she wanted, she's not going to stay. Mm -hmm. If the vice versa. Shake your hand. Yeah. Yo, man. Yeah, that's the thing. Yo, I can't satisfy oh. her. She's going to go to another she's person. She's bouncing. Game and vice over. versa for me, too. If I'm with a chick that I'm not satisfied, your pH balances off, I'm out. I'm out. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So that's why I've been able, like me and my team, to stay in this game because no matter what a client does to me, I'm not surprised because mm. you're supposed to do that. You mm. know what I'm saying? So I try, me, myself, you know, and my team, when I say, when I say my, me, I always speak for my team. I try to form a, a relationship as a, as, as a friend first. Gotcha. Well, I'm talking about a friend where I know you're a friend, but I know it's a person also that could be out of my life. You know what I'm saying? Because I have my friend that's going to be in my life regardless of what I am or what I'm doing. So, but once you get that understanding and you know what I'm saying, and that's what's wrong. A lot of people don't, don't sit there with clients and artists and really have these talks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I was known for. That's why motherfuckers either they like me or, or they, they don't, don't love me. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you know what? Yo, I'm going I'm to I'm tell you what it is. You, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And I'm the same way. The same way I give it, I could also respect an artist mm. who could see my wrong. I, I, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no such thing as a perfect person. So when and I'm doing something for artists is telling me, yo, no, that's you're mm -hmm. not doing that right. Or this thing, you ain't doing this, that. I gotta be able to sit there and go, oh shit, you know what? I fucked up. That's the part I did wrong. Accountability. And accountability, yeah. that's it. And I'm always for accountability. And, and I I'll say, all right, yo, I'm wrong for this, this, and that. But when a nigga just keep going on and on and on about, all right, what are we doing? You know what I'm saying? A guy that can't ever admit like, right, he's wrong is the most do? selfish motherfucker on the planet. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's a Point fact. blank. And, like, and the thing is, in anything, it, it, you, hear, you hear me talking to this interview right now. Mm -hmm. You never hear me. No matter what issue I have, there's ups and downs, everything. I thank every motherfucker that works with me and I've worked with. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? And I wish the best for, for you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. for, for, for everybody. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 cause, cause you, you understand, I see this shit from such a different point of view. Yeah. Mm. I see it from every angle. And that's why when I talk and I tell people, I do not talk off opinion. I talk off experience. experience. I've stole, I've lied, I've done this, I've done that, I've done that, and that done, I've done that. Yeah. So when I'm talking to you, I, yo, I know I did it. I'm not talking about what I think is gonna be. I'm <laughs> yeah, talking I'm about you, this what happened. happened. This, this, this is what happened. This, 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 this is what happened. Exactly. But you and, know what the problem is? And you want to go crazy? Now, go no, go for it. This, this is my first, first, yo, podcast that, that, that I've ever, you know what I'm saying? Wow. That I've ever, I've ever sat here. This is my first time 
I've ever sat here in a podcast and talk to somebody. Like, you know think Nobody sees me, G, hip hop, Al, yeah. Sean, none of them. I said I that barely to, see hip hop. No. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Rope, Nobody yeah. really sees us. You know what I'm saying? Cortez, when, you know, Tez, yeah. you don't see Tez, yeah. you don't see numbers, you don't say like, like yo, we 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 quiet assassin. We all about our team, our brand, our family. Yeah, and family. at the end of the day, okay, it's not it's not even you know, how much money. It's like, yo, what are you contributing? What are we doing? Because that all that comes with it. You know what I'm saying? And 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 and, and we stick by that. Mm. I, I don't I don't wear a Rolex or nothing, you know what I'm saying? I don't I'm not going around showing off driving this, this. I'm not taking pictures on Instagram and rappers and all that. Nothing against anybody who does that. Yeah, nah, nah. But that's not what I'm in it for because I'm so, I'm past that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and I love the youth. You know what I'm saying? Like I've seen all these guys. Yeah. But really, all you young A&R guys, yo, stop putting numbers up. Numbers ain't pictures. Numbers ain't you just hang with this person. What type person. of numbers they need? Like streaming numbers? You need to break so artists. Man, you break you artists. need to break that's artists. Numbers, gotcha. That's all that's I go it? off of. When you see all these guys talking, everybody has a report card. Oh, I'm gonna give you a gem, my homie. Y'all should do this on your thing. Go down niggas' report cards and see really what they did. <laughs> did not say niggas be getting a lot of credit and don't be doing go, shit. Go, go, go down niggas' did report cards. Did not tell card. you niggas be getting mad credit and don't be really doing shit. They be knowing niggas and they be going from and, building and, and, to building. And, and, and not only that, then, told you. And, and then sometimes it's not even. And then and then you have you got the, the right lawyer. Then, yeah, it's not. And then you have the playing field. Mm. Which we still have a problem with black executives. You know what I'm saying? That's what we still fighting. You know what I'm saying? That that foot on our neck is still there because I could do all this, 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 and there, and you have certain other people of other races that are here and haven't done nothing. minimal, nothing, and haven't done ten percent of what I've done, yes. and I will never have that. You know what I'm saying? And that's the bigger fight. And you know what they're gonna keep saying? Gene was just lucky for 25 years. Nah, I'm beyond luck right now. No, yeah. but. When, that's what I've noticed with yeah. blacks and, and other yeah. races. Oh, yeah, yeah, he just kept getting lucky. How are you lucky for 30 years? <laughs> that's like hitting the lot yeah. every day. <laughs> luck, and, luck and consistency. Let me tell you how you lucky for 30 years. Yeah, I, I, let me tell that's you, ridiculous. I, 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 was, I, I, I got lucky with, 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 with Craig and Big. I could take that. That's mm -hmm. the start of anything. That was your platform. Okay, platform. And like after you said, that, after that, I took it, he took his platform yeah, and ran that, with it. At, I, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not one to to, to to you know sit there and count my wins. But mm -hmm. after that, and then I'm still here. Okay. Active. Let's think about everybody that's uh, niggas who's not still here because systematically we could see how every black independent label has been broken down. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, man? There's there, man. There's only three of us out here right now. Really, is Blueprint, Rock Nation, and QC. Fuck y'all up. What he said too, it's you gotta slow it down because when the black man has the money, he has the power and doesn't have to listen to anybody else. Listen, and you know what's so crazy? I don't care as a black man, you have the power and all that, you still gotta listen. The problem is mm. that we don't listen, listen. to each other. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's the problem. I'm not I'm proud of everybody. That's I'm proud fact. I'm proud of T D E, Q C, all that. All that, of that. that I'm all for all that shit. But there's still the complexity is no matter what, it's still everybody's like this. It's not really Together. a thing. If you look if you if you look at what the music business is based on, each one of those big entities, they got a circle. We get in each circle, and it's like I'm not saying I, I, I'm I'm not racist or no, make it seem like this is a, a white and black things divide and conquer. Because I really don't believe in like, yo, they're dividing and conquer. No, we control our own fate. We're dividing and conquer. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We do it. You know what I'm saying? The, the problem is us. You know what I'm saying? It's like I always sit there like we could, oh, man, this is messed up. They're doing this to us, this, this, and that. We keep talking to each other. The conversation got to start be having with them. You know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. a deeper conversation. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, 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 a lot of, it's a lot of weird shit. And, and I, get, I understand it because how could I say this? You got to be in to stay in, to watch it and understand it and be able to fight it. You can't fight it from just being outside, Damn. outside of the game. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And that's why I asked you, how do you deal with the tornadoes? How did you survive them? I know you gave the answer, yeah. but you know, people don't know when that story. You know how I did it? Yeah. Shutting the fuck up, but at the same time talking behind the scenes. That's how I did it. People, people never really gonna understand when I say that. I do. Like people understand 
when motherfuckers get in the shit, right? This is the biggest scam ever. <laughs> I, I, I gotta get a publicist, 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 publicist. No. The best publicist in this world is yourself. It's, and that's not even yourself. Mm-hmm. And it's a publicist named Sarah. Shut the fuck up. She's the greatest fucking publicist you could hire. Why you say that? Her name is Sarah. Shut you don't the catch fuck it? up. <laughs> oh, I caught it quick. <laughs> when shit go down, the best thing to do is just shut the fuck, fuck up, up. Give it two weeks. Somebody else is gonna do some dumb shit, <laughs> and the heat is off of you. That's just it. You know what I'm saying? Is, that's yeah. just it. That's Be some quiet. great advice, B. That's just it. Yeah. That's it. Lay low. That, that's it. Just lay, lay low. Because like, because everybody's gonna have an opinion. They're gonna keep the flames going. Once you start, you know what I'm saying? Because you know it. it, it this 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 game is crazy now. You know oh, what I'm yeah, saying? The so, shit that I'm watching, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? It's desperation. It's it, it, and, it, and and it's the fantasy. I've always I I can't stress this enough. It's the devil bag and Jay Z. That's one. Up and to, and Jay-Z, Jay-Z, people Jay-Z. really believed that the Wu Tang put a sock over the microphone, recorded "Protect Your Neck." <laughs> and called Hot 97 Seven. repeatedly and they started and, playing and it. And landed. Come on, man. I, no, no. There's, a, there's niggas you know that. I know. It's just like everybody mm-hmm. independent. They think, yo, I'm going to start an in, in, in independent label. <laughs> Good luck if, you, if you're going to start an indie label and somebody's telling this big lie, they got $50,000 and all of a sudden, that's rolling the dice. You put a record out and it catches. No, there's a plan to it. And knowing that, as you get bigger, how you cannot... You're gonna need a distributor. You're gonna need. You're gonna need something. That's too much. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Everybody now. Now, uh, now are these kids making some hit? You making some money off the SoundCloud? Yeah, this, this, yeah. and that. But it is an exaggerated thing of really to run an independent label. You have to have a business. You have to understand it. And not only that, everything in music is a loss first. Yeah. I be telling everybody. It's <laughs> a loss first. Everything is a loss first. And, and then, then it comes back. Then it comes back. And, and then it, it comes back. Me. When it comes back, you still got to know. Just say, this is where everybody fucks up. You Independent. You make it. All right, shit. Oh, shit. This one, we made 100000 You didn't make 100000 You made 100000 You have to take 50000 of that, put that back into yourself because you got to go again. Mm-hmm. And you might take a loss again because not you everything. You might need that other 50. Not, that, that shit might not pop that again. That might not pop. You're going to need that other 50 to go back in. Exactly. You see all these guys, everybody's running this fake narrative. Oh, you don't need a label, this, this, and that, that, this, this, and that. Okay, cool. You, need oh, you don't need a label, but who's the person that has, it takes, okay? If you're going to do an independent label, all right? Nobody, if nobody ever heard this, nobody ever told you, you need minimum at least two million sitting in escrow. Okay, I'm talking about sitting. He, he told me that. Cash. He told me that in 2017. Okay? To really make a noise. Okay, <laughs> 2017. People because, be thinking I'm yeah. tripping. Because number one, the reason why you need that, because number one, you don't want to do the fake stream shit. That does not work. There's mad companies out here that this, this, and that. The people we, we we read through that like nothing. Easy. Easy. You know what I'm saying? I tell them that. I'll be like, yo, that fake stream shit. They, that fake stream shit. People they do. know that now. It don't, it Nobody don't. knows you. Mm-hmm. Somebody, if you got all these streams, somebody has to know the name, you. The name mm-hmm. of this game is consistency. Consistency storyline. Okay? Straight up and down and marketing dollars. Being creative, being different, and, 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 and here's the biggest thing. And yo, make good fucking music. This is my favorite episode I've yo, ever. Yo, yo, you lived it's, up to the whole yo, expectation. It's over. Yo, we start. It's over. Yeah. Like, like, like he the said, we, not, we don't, we don't end yeah. it. It's over. It's over. Yeah, son. no. Yo, it's like, really subscribe, <laughs> like, subscribe, share, bag fuel TV. You ain't never gonna get it like this. Don't forget, like, comment, and share. And that's bag it. fuel TV. And whatever this is, I, and, and I'm starting to understand this podcast world a little bit. All this, like I said once again, thank you, thank you, Mike and Ezo, thank you for having me. And just everybody, be clear, and anybody who support me, thank you, and all, and all, and and I'm just proud. And just be clear, the new wave of of all my all my other counterparts that are coming from Team Eighty, Lola mm. Brook. Fucking Nigel, ESTG, HD, Picasso, K Mac, all these dudes. I'm so proud of them and to see all these dudes coming. I like Lola. Bro. Yo, and, she and, did and, that oh, song by show. Oh yeah, I like Lola. Oh, Lola, 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 oh my god, she's one of one of the best female rap, rappers out there. I like. I, like, I, 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 I like gotta Lola, figure bro. that out. I, 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 I like. I like Lola. I gotta figure that out. It's picking it up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, it's picking up. Picking up. Yeah, yeah. And like, she did our South by. Esso wasn't. 
out of town. So but she you see what I'm talking about? Yeah, she killed it. Build up the story. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I could just sign anything, but that don't mean nothing. Because you just sign right now. What do you call it? The most you're going to get is the, uh, oh, what, what they call it no landscape. No, you, there's no there's no file on this, that. You, you, you're going to get $200,000. All right? You're going to get $20,000 for your pocket, and that's your budget to make everything happen. <laughs> now, is that a bad idea? No, at least you got that to start with. You got to work it. Man, you gotta because work it. it's a simple thing. If you do deals that, you got to accept that. You got to have a team and a plan. And believe me, then I could go in there with the power of God. I'm a, we call it reforecast. I'm going to go get you that. I signed an artist back in the game named Doe God bless the dead. Okay? 75 grand. Put the record out. We call it D and Shadow. Work that bitch. We call Man, I'm not going to tell you what we, we forecasted before you can reforecast up a half a okay? million, a million. You, you can reforecast. It yeah. all depends on what the yeah. market determines once you put the record out. That's why I always tell people, everybody want to take records and go everywhere. Work your record reasonably. Get your yeah. spins. Get your buzz up. And the people will hear you yeah. and be yeah. like, I think, yo, do you have another record? Or maybe we can take this record up some more. Yeah, the, the, she's she's definitely like that. Those, those are breakout artists. Mm -hmm. And then this other kid. Oh, my God. This kid, um, David Sebastian. This kid out of L.A. Like, this guy's a... Some totally different shit. Mm. Like he does, like the, the shit that he does for Skid Row, just his mind state and the design work he's done for certain rappers. Is, and and, and it's, it, it, it's just, man, ah, oh, man, this is, we got to, well, we, we, we got to do a second episode. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, so no, much, no, 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 oh, no. Yo, yo, whenever, whenever you could do it, I would love to do a second episode. Like we, we only needed. had it for, I, I didn't know if you was going to be willing to stay this long because we only rented it for a, a short amount of time. We're going to pay for the rest. It's not a problem. Oh, but, nah, man. Thank but you, nah, man. But nah, if you want to come back, multiple. We, yeah. I, I want to do two hours again whenever because you can. The, 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 the combo mm -hmm. that's going to be needed between the both of y'all. Oh no no no! It's Second been, episode, I'm gonna cut through the bullshit. Yeah. I'm gonna break down numbers of what this oh, okay. this this is what this is. Oh, it's going up then. Yeah. It's gonna it's, it's, it's gonna be broken down what numbers what really is because I I want all these young aspiring artists to understand really what it is. That's and what don't this get is jammed about. Up. Yeah, this you know is what I'm the appetizer. This is the only show. And believe me, I believe in perception is reality. Yeah, but don't get lost sure. in your perception. No doubt. Ooh. That's a clip. Yo, there it is. You heard it first. Gene Nelson, his first Take podcast. Take care, y'all. Show he's ever been on doing this bag few. Bow. We out.